Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's episode, we're gonna do the lift brackets, lift blocks for the golf cart. But I had to show you guys this. McTuning was super nice enough to help support our build and they sent us for when it's done because they know this thing is gonna be purdy and awesome. It's not gonna look like a turd anymore and it's gonna be beefed up, it's gonna be lifted, it's gonna have a turbo on it. I'm still keeping the engine secret, but I'll let you guys know that it's getting a turbo. So you gotta watch the episodes to find out. But I wanted to thank them for uh, sponsoring and supporting our golf cart build. And they sent us some LED rock lights for when it gets done. We can wire them up, put them on there. Um, we'll go over it real quick. Show you guys the these rock lights. Listen, guys, I have these on our side-by-sides. And they are just just an awesome awesome kit I want to show you they're solid I'm gonna guess aluminum they feel like aluminum casing they're sealed they're weather tight they're built really nice they're really bright they come with different style rubber mounts to mount them, you know, depending upon, you know, if you want to mount them on some rubber tube, round tube or something, that's what these would be used for. These, So you got different mounting options. Here's the controller. Very, very, very nice controller. So guys, I'll have a little video clip of these in music mode. But please keep in mind, I'm going to put uh, YouTube friendly music in the video because my music that is playing on the side by side isn't friendly for YouTube. I'll get a copyright and I'll get in trouble. So. Hey guys, welcome back to Redneck Garage. On this episode of Turbocharged Golf Cart, because it's going to be turbocharged, we're going to work on the lift kit. And we're going to lift it 13 inches. By the time I trim it up and everything, it'll be about 12 and a half inches with a lift kit. I'll explain the reason why we're doing this. We're doing it because it'd be the easiest setup. We're going to put the leaf springs back in the spots that they belong. And we're going to put this in between the leaf spring and the rear end. And then we're going to have track bars to help stabilize the rear end and keep it nice and straight and all of that. And after we get it built, we're going to tear it down. We're going to have it all sandblasted so it's all fresh metal for paint. But we got to get it built and get it all welded up and all of that before we go doing that so without further ado let's get to it this is the next step to success and if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and that like button leave us a comment down below of what you think about this so we measured it out we got ourselves a square we squared it up so we, we should have nice straight-ish cuts. Let's see what we got to do. If you haven't noticed, we are using square stock. Two inch 
by two inch square stock. Right now we're a little bit under 13 inches. Okay, just like I anticipated by the time we cut and all that. Let's go get it cleaned up. Now we have two identical pieces, 13 and a half inches. Let's move on to making the brackets. All right, guys, we took our mounts for our leaf springs off and we've got to make four more because these are going to weld to our 13 inch lift kit. Um, and then Two of these will weld and then two of these will be a top plate. So we took and we traced them out. So they're identical. They really didn't have to be identical, but I wanted them to be pretty much identical. So let's get these cut out. And let's get the welding this look. There you go guys brackets for the lift block all right guys <clears throat> i did this off camera to see how i was gonna level this out and make sure it's straight up and down it looks pretty good eyeballing it wise and we got our magnets holding it in place if you ain't got some of these magnets for doing this get some check out all of our links down in the description You'll have them rock lights down there. You'll have this stuff down there. I'll throw all kinds of cool stuff down there that'll help you fabricate. I know we're not all rich and we all don't have CNC tables and all that stuff, but we can get these, you know, these help. It's level. It's level all the way around it. And yes, I leveled the base out before we started. So let's tack weld it in place. And then we'll get the top one on and see how that goes. All right, guys, we got them both welded up. Got those cut and drilled. They're not perfect, but I think once they're sandblasted with that frame, because the whole thing is gonna get sandblasted and, and painted up real nice. I think once these are sandblasted, painted black, I think they're gonna look halfway decent. Uh, they didn't turn out too bad for a redneck and a couple Harbor Freight tools. So let's get them put on and see what she looks like, guys. So there's our lift box. Now if I can get down in here to explain to you, I don't have the proper length bolts or this would be all tightened down. Unfortunately, I thought I did, but these are way too long. And so I gotta get the proper size bolts so we can make this tight. Right now it's a little wobbly. There, it might sit a little straight for you or not. But anyway, 
what we're going to do is we're going to put trailing arm from each side going up to the middle of the frame. Kind of like you'd see on lifted Jeeps and stuff, trailing arms. And then we're going to do a stabilizer bar that goes on the back here to, to keep the rear end from doing this. And if that don't work, then we're gonna have to rethink our plan but I do believe that it will work and I think that it will be fine. As long as I do those trailing arms and do the stabilizer bar. But this is how high it's going to sit plus the tires that we're going to do. So guys, essentially we put a 13 inch lift on it. Now mind you, the stock tires are gonna go bub eyes and it's gonna get some taller taller tires we're gonna need some wheel spacers I'm sure but the bottom of the frame is 19 inches oh isn't this thing a liar oh, it's on there. 19 inches bottom of the frame so that's gonna be our ground clearance in the center our rear axle uh, right now has about four inches, but when we get the taller tires, they'll probably have about eight inches. So overall, eight inches of ground clearance, which is fine for a machine like a golf cart when you're going to be doing golf carty things with it in the campground. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of it. This is going to be an awesome build, I think. Um, it's not going to look like some rusty turd that we yanked out of the woods when it's done. Um, it's not going to be like Yerfenstein. Yerfenstein was a was a throw together thing just to see what we could do. This is going to be nice. It, um, my plan is to do everything nice on it. There's going to be a couple hillbilly things like the sprocket and the lift kit. But don't worry, the plans I have in my head, this lift kit is going to work. I just need those trailing arms. So I gotta save my pennies and get some Heinz joints and some round stock so I can make the trailing arms because the front is gonna be lifted this high too. It's gonna need those trailing arms as well. Plus I'm gonna have to make a new steering uh, arm because it's only got one arm for the steering. The rack is actually up in the golf cart. So one arm should be pretty simple, pretty cut and dry to do that and then I'll get a stabilizer bar. We're probably going to come from here, but we're going to have to draw. I don't know what we're going to do about the stabilizer bar because we have to do it right. Otherwise the rear end will try to shift when the suspension is in articulation. So we have to figure that out. But that once I get this tightened up, it's going to be enough to work with. And then we can start working on this frame. Once we get the back half built, once we get the lift kit in the front built, and once we get the motor in, remember, turbo, once we get the motor in and all mocked up, then we can tear it all back apart and send it out to sandblasting so it can be painted and looking real nice. Really thinking on keeping the stock front end. Um, we'll see how it goes. I really think we are, but I don't know. It depends upon how cool back here turns out. I don't know, but I'm thinking we're going to keep the stock front end and hey, it's going to be a nice little uh, lifted cart with some mud tires and a turbo. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to sound cool. Four speed with reverse. So electric start, it's going to be nice. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. I sure hope you enjoy the content we put out on this channel. Leave us some feedback in this video. Um, we'll see you on the next one. God bless. And have fun. Peace.